I'm going to show you how to install DHCP on Windows Server 2025. So I'm logged onto the server that I want to install the DHCP role on, and in this case it's my domain controller. In a production environment, I wouldn't really recommend installing DHCP on a domain controller and limiting your domain controller to just domain controller services. However, as this is a lab, I'm going to install it on my domain controller. So now I'm logged onto the server that I want to install DHCP on. Within Server Manager, I'm going to go up to Manage and then Add Roles and Features. We can then click Next through the wizard, select Role-based or Feature-based installation, select the server that we want to install the role on. Under Server Roles, we want to select DHCP Server. Make sure it includes the management tools and then click Add Features. And then we can just click Next through the wizard until we get to the end and then we can just click Install. Once the role is finished being installed, we can either select Complete DHCP Configuration, or if you have closed the wizard, you can come up to the flag and then click Complete DHCP Configuration. This will take us through the DHCP wizard so that we can authorize this DHCP server to provide DHCP leases to our Active Directory clients. In the wizard, we can click Next. We then need to authorize the DHCP server using a domain account. Now for this to work, the domain account that you use has to be within the Enterprise Admins group. I'm going to use the administrator account, which is within the Enterprise Admins group. So we can just click Commit. It will then come back and say Done. So now our DHCP server has been authorized. Now that's been authorized, within Serve Manager, we can come to Tools and then DHCP to open up the DHCP Management Console. To check the authorization was successful, we can right-click DHCP. We can select Manage Authorized Servers. And then in here, it will give us a list of all the servers that are authorized on our Active Directory network. And we can see this server is currently authorized, so it will be able to hand out DHCP addresses to Active Directory clients. We can just close this box. And then under DHCP, we can expand our server, select IP version 4, and then we can right click and select new scope. Within the new scope wizard, we can now set up our DHCP scope so that it will hand out the correct DHCP addresses with the correct DHCP settings. So within the wizard, we can just select next. We can give our scope a name. I'll just call this main LAN. Give it a description and then press next. Now we want to enter the range that we're going to use. So for this DHCP scope, my domain controller is currently on 10.0.0.1 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So that means I've got a 24-bit subnet with 256 addresses in it. What I want to do is hand out the entire of that range for my DHCP scope, and then we can set some exclusions so it only gives out a portion of it. So I want my scope to be 10.0.0.1, so that's the first IP address it can give out, and it can give out all the way to 10.0.0.254. We'll then select a 24-bit subnet and then select next. And then here we can add some exclusions. So what I want to do is exclude the first 100 addresses. So if I do the start IP address for the exclusion as 10.0.0.1, and then for the end IP address, we'll do 10.0.0.99. So that won't give out IP address one all the way up to IP address 99. So you can click add. And I'll also exclude the last 50 addresses. So I'll do 10.0.0.200. To 10.0.0.254. So now this will only give out DHCP addresses between 100 and 199, because we've excluded the rest of the range. We'll then click Next. We'll give our DHCP scope a least duration. So this means when a client gets a DHCP address, it will have that same IP address for eight days. Depending on the size of your network, you might want to change this. However, I'm just going to leave this as the default. We can then click Next. We've now got the option to set additional DHCP options. So what I'd recommend is to do yes, you want to configure these now. So this will let us set things like a gateway and a DNS server. So we'll just select yes and then press next. So now we want to enter our default gateway. So when a client is handed an IP address, it will also be told where the gateway is on the network. So my gateway is on 10.0.0.254. So we can do add and then press next. We can also tell a client what DNS server to use. In my case, it's already detected this correctly. However, if you've got multiple DNS servers, you might want to add additional servers in here. I'm just going to leave these as default and then select Next. If you're using Wins, you can enter the details in here. However, I'm not, so I'm just going to leave this as default and then select Next. And then the last thing we want to do is activate the scope. So if we press Next, this will then create the scope and activate it ready for use. Now that's done, we'll just press Finish. And on the left hand side, we'll select our scope. We'll then just give it a refresh so we can update the status. 
Now that's shown as a green tick on IPv4, show that the scope has been created and is currently in use. To test this, we'll come to IP address leases, and we'll currently see this as blank, because no leases have been handed out. If I come to one of my other machines, and then open up a command prompt, and do IP config, we can see it's already been handed out an address. So if I do IP config slash all, we can see it's got an IP address of 10.0.0.100. And we can see that our DHCP server is 10.0.0.1, which is the correct DHCP server. If I come back to my DHCP server and then refresh our client leases, we can see that our server has now appeared in our DHCP leases and our DHCP server is correctly handing out addresses. So that's how to set up DHCP on Windows Server 2025.